you uh, to have your Filipino culture. Why is your Filipino culture important to you? Diversity and representation is so important. The Filipinos are one of the most beautiful Woo! countries in the world. Now tell us about your parents. You know, tell us about where you're from and, and what you take from your Filipino culture. Well, my dad is from Manila, Philippines. He moved here at age 20. He's somewhere in the crowd. Woo, daddy, here. where are you? Where are you, dad? Dad! Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's in there! Come on, stop They're over there. Wait, let me, I'm gonna go get dad. You guys stay here. Yeah, I'm gonna get go. Dad. And mommy, too. And mommy. mommy. And mom. <laughs> okay, well, well, here. I want you to take us back. Take us back during your competition when they're about to announce who is the Miss USA. Like I mean, they started fourth runner up, third runner up, and I'm just like still trying to breathe and process it. And then it's the last. So you're holding hands. Please, please crown me. And then I heard they called that first runner up, and then I was still confused. <laughs> it took me about five seconds. I was looking around. I was like, is it me? Is it her? Is it me? And then the sash comes over me. I could not believe it. I was just in disbelief. So happy. So happy. Arbity, we are so, so proud of you. And just take a look at the crowd of people who came to see you. Obviously, there's a lot of young girls, yeah, a lot of young Filipina girls, a lot of young girls. What's your message to the girls, like these beautiful yeah. people right here, uh, who are here today and want to hear from you? What's your message to those girls? Yeah. My message is I want all the little girls here to see themselves in me. To dream big, you can achieve anything. It took a lot of hard work, a lot of setback, but make a space for yourself if you don't see yourself there yet. If you don't see somebody that looks like you, that's why I'm here for representation. Because Filipinas are beautiful. All right, Cheryl, 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 Cheryl. Can I ask you something? Daddy. Okay. First of all, let's just talk about how proud of you of your daughter. Over the moon. Over, Over the moon. moon. Did, you, did you even think that as she was growing up as this little girl in Friendswood that this is this would be her future? Never in a million. She was very shy. Very, very shy. She's really around. But uh we believe that she will win Miss USA Ooh. and the Miss Universe. Yay! Yeah. All right, Daddy Gabriel said it. Daddy Gabriel said it. Uh, she, he's forecasting Miss Universe. Ooh. Now, okay, will you both be going to the Miss Universe? Oh. Yeah. She says, you better believe it. That's what Mama says. You better believe it. Yeah. Okay, I have to ask, Mom, does she get your her fashion style from you or from Zach? <laughs> what do you think about her fashion? Her fashion style? Yeah. Her, her creative? I think it's better original. No original? Oh. <laughs> he wants to take credit. Yeah. Okay. okay, now Mom and Dad, you know, we know it takes a lot of work to be able to get to where she went. Arbany, can you talk to us about how your parents helped you and how they might have inspired you to get to where you're at today? That's and the right. work they raised me, the world that they showed me, I was blessed enough to be able to travel to a lot of countries and it taught me to be non-judgmental. My mom is from Beaumont, so she's a country woman. Yes. And then my dad is from the Philippines, so I had a very diverse upbringing of two different family dynamics. And now you live to, in Francewood now, right? Well, I'm in Houston right now packing up because when you win Miss USA, you move to LA. That's right. <laughs> but Houston is always home. I'm a Houston girl forever. All right. Okay. Miss Universe is coming up, right? When is it? When is it? Okay. Arbony, what do you want us to do to support you? Do we have to? Yeah. <laughs> do we have to maybe vote for you? What do we need to do? Tell us. Yes, I just want to start off by saying thank you for all the love and support. Thank you, thank you, maraming salamat. Because you know Filipinos love pageants. I will be representing all of you at Miss Universe January 14th. The voting will open in the next few months. So please follow me at Miss USA Instagram, at Arbany Nola. I will be booked and busy working hard to represent Houston, Texas, Americans, and Filipinos. Well, Arbany, you are the pride and we will be cheering you on, right? Let's go. Thank you. What? Okay. Oh, someone is asking, 
are you going home to the Philippines? You know what? In December, there's plans to go to the Philippines. Yay! Yes. So what are you going to do? In the, is, it, is it just vacation or non, non-profit? There's no vacation right now. There's no days off. But it will be a lot of fun. I'm going with the Best Buddies. And that is an organization that partners with the Philippines and Miss USA. So it will be charity work. I'm hoping to do some photo shoots and meet some designers as well and network there. And obviously eat some good Filipino treat. Ooh, okay, before sure you go. Before you what? go. Okay, go okay. Before she goes, I just want to get one last mom and dad, one last piece of advice for, for your baby girl. Um, <laughs> you continue to work hard. Oh, continue to work hard. Be focused and determined and win the Miss Universe. Are you going home with her in the Philippines in December? Yes, certainly. We won't miss the Philippines. Surprise! He's going with you. (laughs) Okay, Arvini, one last message for everybody here. Um, You know, obviously, you look beautiful, but beauty is not just about the outside. It's about within and giving back. You know, can you just tell everybody? to hear what you hope that they take from your presence on the world stage. I always say your blessings are meant to be shared. So go out into the world, share what makes you special. We are very blessed to be here in Houston with this beautiful weather and this beautiful day. So we need to spread that out into the world and send that message to everybody. All right, all right. All right. Give it up. I believe you turn the time. 